In this episode, I have thrifting hacks, tips, and tricks, so stay tuned. Whether you're a reseller shopping the thrift store for items for your boutique or online store, or you're looking for decor items for your home, or maybe you're even looking for that DIY project that you want to refinish to make something better or special for your home. I have a few hacks, tips, and tricks for thrifting. So you'll want to stay tuned to see what I've come up with. So you've probably have already heard of some of these hacks that I'm going to share with you, but my first one here is a hack that I do every time that I have any kind of tape that is stuck to um, glass or even wood. Uh, if it is painted, you want to do a little different technique, but if it's on glass, you can soak it in dish soap water and I use Dawn dish soap because Dawn is the best at everything and all the other brands don't really work as well and so you just want to soak it in there for a while and it will just loosen that tape up and there you go it might be common sense for you as well to always wash everything as soon as you purchase it I am an empath and so I absorb a lot of different things and I believe that there are um, different things that attach themselves to objects so washing everything cleanses it and I just always make sure that my items are washed before I put them in my storage area or to style them in my home. I just love this next hack. It's an easy transformation that anyone can do. And this was really, really caked with residue and I washed it with Dawn dish soap. I'm going to use this mineral oil around the wood area and the handle cleaned up really nice and so did the glass. So this wood just needs some brightening up. So I'm taking this oil and I'm using one hand because I forgot to use my phone holder here, but you'll get to see the transformation here. So you just rub it all through all of the wood everywhere, even where it's a little darker, and it just brightens that wood right up, and it makes it look like almost brand new. I just love it, and the good thing about mineral oil is you can use it with food, so once it's dried, you can use it with any kind of food and it's safe to use. Let me know what you think. Look how pretty that wood turned out. I just love this piece and you can use it on anything like this and that's what's great about a thrifted item. I paid a dollar for this and it looks almost new. Have you ever picked up a sweater and looked at it at the thrift store and thought, oh my gosh, it's so worn out, I can't purchase this? Well, here's a little hack for sweaters. And if you can tell in the video, there are a bunch of little fuzzies where it's rubbed and, and kind of not worn out, but just fuzzies from washing and rubbing it on your arms. Well, I purchased this awesome uh, fabric shaver and I will have the link of the one I purchased on Amazon in my description box. But you just lightly go over it. Um, you want to put enough pressure on it to get the uh, fuzzies off, but you don't want to do it too hard and too long in one spot or else you'll get a hole in your sweater or clothing. So I just took this and went over the whole sweater and the sweater is like almost new now. It, it just was, I think $5 for this sweater and it just turned out really well. This next hack I learned because I was trying to get this two-way sticky tape off of this uh, statue type thing that someone had a plaque on and it did not come off very well with it just he heating it up. So I scraped off as much as I could and I got down there was still residue. So I looked it up and it said vegetable oil or um, alcohol 
and I had alcohol rubs and I thought let's use some Pam so the Pam pan spray I sprayed on and then used the alcohol wipes on top of that and that really helped out a lot it's I was surprised how easy it came off once I you know just gave it a little rub and it did still show on the wood that um, where the tape was just because it had worn that way but the residue was totally gone one good hack is to look in the frames section even the large pictures will have these beautiful frames that if you are looking for a particular uh, size or an odd shape size and you don't want to spend a lot of money for a bigger frame or a unique frame like this one then you should go to the thrift store and look through them to see if you can find something that will fit what you're looking for they are always unique they have a ton of different styles and shapes and it's just look outside the box and think about what could I use for a particular picture that I want to give as a gift even or for my wall. Remember too that if it's wood or even plastic you could always paint the frame the color that you are needing or wanting it to make it look better. A good tip is to always inspect your items thoroughly before you purchase like this one had been glued together so just always make sure there's no chips or cracks because you don't want it broken when you get home a good tip to think about is if you are having a party a special event of some sort you can always find different types of glasses there's always groupings of different colors different shapes and I think it would be really fun just to have an eclectic amount of different uh, drinking ware as well as dishes. There's always beautiful dishes that you can make a party look spectacular. One good tip is if you are looking for a particular style basket but you can't find the color you want, think about painting them. They are so easy just to spray paint with some chalk paint and then put a clear coat over them. And boom, you have a customized basket that matches your decor. Another good tip is if you're looking for any type of holiday decor, you can always find unique pieces at the thrift store. I always shop for vintage Christmas because that's my favorite. And I always seem to find a few things here and there. You can also find more modern holiday decor as well. And not just Christmas, but other types of holidays, Halloween and even Easter. I'm always out looking for different pieces that I can create other things with for my projects. And these wood leaves are so pretty. I can use them for just about anything for fall. And also something like this for a lampshade, just a plain lampshade you can change to whatever decor you want. I'll have a link of what I did with this one above. So when you're looking for odds and ends, just think about anything. This I have no clue what it went to, but I found an another one exactly like it uh, at a previous trip. So I want to make lanterns with those and I'm going to use those at the top. Well, thank you for watching and I hope that I've helped you out with some hacks, tips and tricks that you didn't know before this video. And I hope that you will implement them the next time you go thrifting. Always come back because I'll have another thrift with me or a thrift flip video or just a plain old crafting video as well. I love to uh, bring you a new video every week so make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a video thanks again and i hope that you all will have a wonderful day